Hey guys, it's Storytelling Ron, and this is my little commercial video. So for my YouTube channel, Storytelling Ron. And if this is, um, I'm still gonna do all the stuff I'm doing on my YouTube channel. I'm really having a good time. I'm gonna put up all my mu music and ambiance and all that. But I do have a Patreon and I'm hoping some of you, if you need this kind of stuff, um, if you want this kind of stuff, would, would support me there. It would, uh, I would really get, you know, if I can get a few more um, on there, I'd be really excited and just keep, you know, making a lot of this stuff. And so that's my little commercial. I'll do that once in a while for the channel. But other than that, you know, I'm going to keep putting stuff on there. Really, I love the comments and the thumbs ups. Thank you all. And some of you requested like PDFs and the MP3s. And and so I, I want to, you know, I'm going to, you can, now obviously you can V-download the MP3s. I'm fine with that and use them, you know, however you want. Uh, just credit me, please, for the for the music and the, the ambiance stuff. And also, if any of you see my PDFs that I'm showing on the videos um, and you, you want to pause it and just copy that, I'm totally fine with that. That's Please do that. And I really do recommend that, especially for new DMs. I really recommend you, even if you copy my list of treasures, is to type it out because it'll become part of your psyche when you look at your list. And you're going to do little adjustments there, you know, to what you want, you know, you know, even off of my list. So I highly recommend that. And but some of you requested the PDF of my treasure list or, you know, I do a lot of typing and, you know, when I when I when I work out the campaigns. So what I want to do then is, you know, put that I'm going to put that on my Patreon. I'm going to start putting them in little bits, um, the treasure list and little locations. And then at some point, and it may be a rough draft of the campaign if for some of you that just want it now. And then when I'm done, I'll kind of do like a polished version of it, but that'll be on my Patreon. And I'm going to do MP3 files of all my sounds and musics, my ambiance stuff um, on there. So you can download it uh, for the $3 lordly tier. But there's the $1 a month, um, just, I don't know, peasant or warrior tier. And you can get my minis. And I have a whole bunch. Um, and um, But if you look, if you just want to pay a dollar and then get all of my minis and then get off, that's, I'm t I, I'm, that's fine with me totally fine you can do that or or you know if, 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 if you want that kind of thing and this and the reason i'm doing this is kind of like there's a lot of like reasons i'm done with the commercial if you want to leave uh but if, you, if you're still interested um i'll show you some more so uh and i'll put a link to the patreon but um i the reason i chose to do these and this is over years and years and i i do love regular miniatures 3d miniatures plastic miniatures you know all that cool stuff the the dwarven forge i get it totally awesome um and i've done all that and you'll post a picture um with warhammer 40k i did all that so i had, had apocalyptic armies a ton anyway so you can see what i have but um so i'm at that point in life where i just can't have all that stuff around and it's very time consuming um to you know and putting on the shelves everywhere i, I did all that done all that and you guys definitely want to should live through that and experience it and have fun but for those of you who want a little more compact a little more you know um easy to easy to, to use stuff I, I, this is what 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 i've boiled it down to for myself and so thusly i'm so happy with it i want to share it with others and i you know learned about the patreon so i'm like oh that should be cool so i'm gonna um build that up if possible so i want to show you what kind of stuff you can get on there for a dollar a month and or a dollar just a dollar now these are little mob things and i have so i think for the the lord here i'll have the rules but obviously you can make your own rules about how, how you use it as a mob. Because like each of these is like CR, you know, a quart or whatever. But if you put them all together, they become CR2, you know, and as, as a creature. Literally a one unit creature, but there's four archers kind of a thing. So I have kind of my own little simple rules for that. And um, so that's when, when, especially when characters get to fourth, fifth, seventh level, I don't want them to fight 20, you know, different goblins. Instead, I make little these little mob units of... Four, four mob units of five goblins and then they're and they're tough they're cr one or two you know for these this big unit of goblins so i draw my own and by the way they come out like like you print them out like this you know and i make them very simple so you don't need a stand or anything you just cut them out uh so yeah i cut out you know these are some some i cut out i just cut out the ones i wanted and i print and you can print it on photo paper like even really thin photo paper works great because if you want to get that nice color and shine or you can just do regular paper and fold them and the reason i do it this way also is because i don't have to deal with gluing or perfectly you know setting it up i just cut them out real quick like you know i fold it the you know the 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 black and white side is the reverse and then the color is the front 
or the back, the black and white is the back of the person and then the creature and then the color is the front of the creature. And I just fold it and then I cut the flat and trim it a little bit. And that's it. And then I, you know, and then I got it. And then it's, it's, it's sort of throwaway. It's very, I'm not worried about it. I didn't put a much time into it. And I, and the reason I didn't put much time into it is because look how many you got to make, you know, in a set for a set for a game night. Um, and I just, I, you know, I, I have other, I love doing drawings and stuff, but I just, you know, the painting stuff, I've already gone through all that. And I'm just really into this now because it's just, and, I, and of course I just store, you know, this is uh 30 to 60 figures is in this, you know? So, um, so here's my little lordly knight. Got a little close-up camera there. I'm, I'm seriously, I'm sinking. I'm sinking. My cheap tripod is sinking on me. Okay. Whatever. Okay. So there's my my night guy. I've got some horses here. And you can throw your character on top of it. Well, I guess you could. I, I, I do have some where I cut like in the middle and I stuck, stick them in like that. And again, because I can just print this out, you know, it might even be in here. Oh, I think it might be in one of the camp character folders. But again, it's so easy to cut these. I'm not concerned about, you know, you know what I mean? I'm not concerned about how precious they are. I didn't put that any time into it. I just printed it out. So you could literally cut this. Where's my scissors? Anyway, you can cut this and then you can stick your character in there if you want. Um, so I got a bunch of horses. I've got, you know, like banded dudes here. Um, and I'm going to show you more. I've got, oh, this is um, pre-made stuff. I also do, I also will have on there, by the way, on my Patreon for free, or for the public, because some of these um, I found online and just, you know, like Google imaged and made made sheets of these. So I'll put these on there too, but they're not part of, you know, you anybody can access them just the same way as you can access like a Google image. And that's where I kind of got them from. And especially like my Star Wars figures. Those are all the Star Wars uh, action figures. And I just put them into little things. And that's for the Star Wars game. And they're this size. And they're on there for free. Um, I think I have some Tomb Annihilation stuff that I did. But that's for free too. I'll, I'll put that on there. I think they're already on there. But you can find those on there. for, And you can right now without paying. You, I think you can go on there and get them and print them out. And then use them for a Star Wars role playing game. Or for Tomb of Annihilation. I got some pretty cool ones on there. That I didn't do. Um, but they're on. You know I just found the like, Google. I'm assuming that's all fine. Tell me otherwise. Here's my little half orc dude. Um, some cool knight, oh, what knights I did. So you know, there's like, like this is like a third or fifth level veteran knight, and then this would be a, oh, like you know, CR what one or two, and this would be CR four or t three maybe, three of them together like that. Okay. So, and here's what I do to put these away after our game session. See what I'm saying? I'm not worried about anything. I just boom, just put them away. Um, this is a weird theme too. I don't know why I have horses with. Well, these are all generally good characters, NPCs. Okay, so let me just show you some more. Just show you what I'm doing. Okay, here's barbarians. And by the way, roll twenty. If you're watching my 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 game sessions, these are on roll twenty. A lot of these are on roll twenty. I use them there. I like I like this style. You know, not top down, but sort of a side view. And these are all there on Roll20 as well, or, or I'll put them on my Patreon so that you can upload them to Roll20 as PNG files so that they look great on Roll20. And my battle maps are drawn that way too. They're drawn in that kind of side view or, you know, to, uh, what's that What's that view? That three quarter, whatever, that, that angle. I forgot that angle. But these are my barbarians I did. And they're real, I really have fun using these. I try to do a variety and with, you know, dynamic poses and a cool sorceress shaman woman there. Uh, I put the, I use these for Storm King's Thunder and then there's a tough boss looking dude. And these are, oh, and you, you know, and you can print out two or three sheets worth of these to make, you know, give yourself some real, a lot, a lot of tough guys. So these are my barbarians, uh, little sneaky dude. Hear my dogs barking. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some more. So let me let me put these away. I think we'll put them away. I'll show you these ones, my nature ones. 
see I got my car caribou, elk, whatever, deer, and I got a little group one there. Great for some, for druids when they have to summon. Um, here's a awakened tree. See that? Another awakened tree. Oh, got a mammoth. But I definitely, I I find that I use these for um, the druid because especially when they get up higher levels, these druids be summoning all kinds of creatures, all kinds of CR two, CR three. Um, here's a. And here's a Trent. Tough Trent. I have three versions of the Trent. Here's a young Trent. I got some more cool trees too, like a Wicked Trees. I don't think I printed those out, but they're on my Patreon. I have an old Trent too. I don't know where he is, but I can just print him out again. See? If you lose if you lose a 3D model of a, you know, you'd have to, you know, buy a new one or, um, oh, bear. Here's a bear. Here's a dire bear. Look at that. That's a big mean bear. And a little black bear. Especially for druids. And here's a turtle. I don't... Is that an actual creature? Or did I do that myself? I think I might have done that myself as a some kind of, yeah, custom like snapping turtle for the druid to summon. Oh, there's another bit black bear. Pretty cool, huh? These are all on my Patreon. You know. And for... I guess for the lordly level, I'll probably put the stats on some of these custom creatures on there. Um, so again, so this is sort of like my druid nature folder of stuff, and I, I know I have more. I have some eagles somewhere. They might be with the dragons, and I have a giant vulture. And I really, really love drawing. So I'm really just I'll put the dragons last, just for the fun of it. Here is my. I'll oh, check this out. This is a sort of, you know, one of those covered covered things for for a ram. A ram. I don't think I've drawn a ram actually, but this is like a covering, and then I'll have like the orcs. Here's my orcs. Um, but I'll have them, and I make these orcs. My, I really like making tough orcs, like Uruk orcs. You know, I call them Urgs. This is kind of like the dude in the Hobbit. What's his face? What's his name? I forgot his name. But here's my orcs. Show them up close, I guess. Um, you know, with the hot, with the Hobbit's version of orcs that makes them a lot tougher looking. I, I like drawing those guys. I like weak, weaker orcs too. You know, both concepts. There's another dude looking tough. But then I put this over them, and then that's what they're charging in on. You know, with some cover. You know, with a ram or whatever. Um, I use these too, and of course my daughter did a snowstorm. Totally wiped them out. It was actually ogres carrying them too. Uh, yeah, here's my ogres. Look at this. You can just print out. Look at that. That's an army right there. It's an army, and I do. You know, you can print out like that. So, so like this would be a. Uh, this is like a CR one orc, and then this is. And these are berserkers. These are like CR two, you know, or three orcs. And, but it's one. You treat it as one unit in the game, which makes it a lot of fun. Um, so here's my ogres. I mean, whoosh, see, I can just do that. I don't even care. Little tough armored ogres. So I got some armored tough ones, and then I got some simple, you know, the tribal kind of more goofy ones. Um, yeah, I'm in my backyard here in Hollywood with all the gardeners and helicopters and everything going off. You see those? Berserker orc. Oh, here's a tough, funny looking cool looking ogre so yeah these are my orcs and ogres and tough orcs rather orcs or orcs is what i call them and i guess i put my um looks like i put my mobs so i can put my mobs like that look at that how many i stacked together so i printed out a bunch because we had a pretty big siege battle it was a lot of fun with my daughter's little thing and all my ogres see this is how you put them away You know, that's that's really what I what I'm into is this the simplicity of this, um, and so that you can store them and, and deal with it. Because after a game, I'm usually pretty tired. I just want to go to bed or, or you know go to go in the house and I'm done with it. And then in the next day, I can just scoop them all up. There's another ogre. Let me stick that in here. 
And I like to put them in these little Ziplocs for trying to maybe, you know, semi-organize within a bigger grouping. And again, I'm getting late. I'm, I gotta quick. I gotta quickly now run through this video. There it is, syncing again. My video. Okay. Come on, just stay up, will you? Okay. All right. Now it's shaking. All right. Calm down. All right. Here we go. What else we got here? Oh, the folks. I've got elves. Cool elves. I'll go these real quickly. I made some funky uh, green armored ones. Let me see here. The, which could be pretty unique. You know, you could make a unique kind of magical race of those guys. And then I tried ones more towards, you know, Two Towers and Lord of the Rings um, style. And then some wood elves. These are kind of more NPC-like, you know, the way, the way I do them. Um, and I put them in, I even have it so that you can print them out like as, um, you know, little you know, little mobs. Okay, those are my elves. I'll probably do more elves too. But these really worked out as NPCs helping the characters, you know, with the defense of a fortress or a woodland area. That's other pre-made stuff. Here's some of my monsters. My dragons will do that. Kind of my favorite category. Here's my roper. Ooh, the, the ink kind of smeared on that one. I forgot about that. But no big deal. I just printed out on a better, I don't know. I. Yeah, sometimes I forget what I did to make it smear. Some of them, the photo paper or the ink or whatever smeared or I printed on the wrong side. I don't remember what I did wrong with this one. But this one, you know, it doesn't smear off. I mean, that's just your photo paper and your ink, so I don't know what the deal is. But this is my roper. I'll just put that one away. There's my Nyotog, whatever. This is a grabber. It's my kind of original monster. I use it a lot for swamps. And, you know, it's a flat, you know, so I just put it on paper like that. Goes after them. Uh, oh, these are Warhammer ones I printed out. Here's a, bu a, a boule and a young boule, or no, those are both boules. Um, different size ones. Oh, here's um, my version of a Grex, or Grix, I think. Kind of just, I wanted to make it more, you know, squirmy and made a smaller version. No, the ink, came, the ink is rubbing off on this paper. I don't know why some do and some don't. That's a smaller version, like a, so this is an alpha and this is a regular size one. Same with these uh, grabbers, I have a smaller version. Um, oh, this is my undead dude. I have some undead stuff. I have a white there. You can see that dude? It's a white or whatever. Here's my flaming skull. That one was fun to use. Um, I know I got more stuff somewhere. Oh, I've got two Neotogs. This is my other one. No, wait, that's the same one. I do have another one here somewhere. Or I'll just print it out again. Okay, there's that. Let me put these away. And I am not done, just so you know. Stick around, please. I'll hurry it up. Um, again, this is how you put them away. Very easy. Just if you're a DM that goes around to stores, game game stores and DMs, huh? Oh man, here's my goblins, bugbears, wolves, uh, boars, and wagons. And check out this wagon I did. I got a little bit of tape on it. Blech. Oh, I ruined this goblin. So what? We can put it out again. Um, tape's even coming off of this. But I folded this wet. I print. I got it like this. This is the wagon or cart. And then I can fold it. And I did put tape on it just to, to try to hold it, but there, I kind of like the cart. The tape is kind of old um, in there. You get the idea. I think regular paper, this is photo paper, I think regular paper will fold better and hold better. The, the photo, photo paper, I love the color of the photo paper, but I do notice if you don't like hold it like this um, inside here, it tends to not hold the fold very well. Oh, here's a paper one. Let me see if that one's better. Let's see the see. You can see the color is not as good, but it kind of holds the fold better. Although I think this is actually a different print too. It's an earlier print, but whatever. You get the idea. So these are all my goblins, my wolves, dire wolves. There's a goblin on the dire wolf. Um, some bugbears. I got a lot of bugbears. I love bugbears. 
Here's a goblin on a chief on a boar. Come on, where's my bugbears? I know I got a bunch. I keep seeing the same one, which I have like six different bugbears. See, here's a little sneaky bugbear. Yeah, a little sneaky guy. Um, oh, here's another cool dude. Bugbear. See? Here's another one. Coming up on you. And a bunch of goblins. See how I do the, go I got these goblin mobs over here. And then I have single ones too. And I have a bunch of variety of goblins. See that photo paper. Um, it's a little trickier. And look, I can just do this. What do I care? Okay. But yeah, these are a bunch of goblins, a bunch of direwolves. Yeah, this photo paper, you gotta keep it closed. That's the problem. Some work and some don't. Depends, I don't know, on whatever, randomness. But again, what I'm saying is that it's very simple. Everybody loves it. They love picking them up, checking them out, looking at them. Just like if, as if they were a miniature. And then then they, you know, really... Oh, here's my go I shoot of goblins. You know, that, that, this is kind of what you would get. and Cut these out. And what I, what I plan on doing, too, on the Patreon is like... I'll do an adventure, you know, with goblins in a tower, and I'll make the, the mini-map, I'll draw out the mini-map, and I'll try to show, I'll post some maps on here to see, so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Um. So I'll, I'll, I'll do a map in the... That's my commercial. Okay, so I'll do a map with these... The adventure and you know well these will probably these are accessible to everybody but i'll do an adventure and uh battle map and that'll be the the lordly tier all right second to last giants this is from our storms king king's thunder guess who this is you know who this is you guess who that is yarl that's that's specifically yarl guess who this is Harshnog. My Harshnog's a little more crusty. That's Harshnog. Here's a female giant. Frost giant, that is. See, I got some frost giants. I got some hill giants. Look at that. Look how big these guys are. And here's a, a human archer. And look how many you can make. You can do 20 easily. 30. How many do you want? Stone giants. Here's the, my version of stone giants. Well, let me just focus on the frost giants real quick. Look at this frost giants. So, you know, you're not you're not limited to only one or two models. You're gonna have as many as you want. You're gonna make as many as you want. They're gonna gain color. It's, you know, black and white reverse. They're gonna be awesome. I think. Lots and I always I love doing and that's me. I'd rather do variety. And you kill them all. I'd rather do variety of frost giants than draw the reverse side if you don't mind that's kind of my thing and here are stone giants this guy throwing his stone um here's a big stone giant well you know i kind of made this tough looking gorilla looking one and they're they're to scale you know like look the frost giants and to me the frost giants right in the storm are bigger so stone giants um Oh, here's another. Um, oh, here's a couple more stone giants that I did. Let me see. So, here's how you put away the frost giants. I'll put those in. This. So, imagine if you had twenty frost giant minute, uh, three D miniatures, you know, versus this. And again, I love miniatures. Nothing wrong with miniatures. Just. The logistics of it. Here's a troll I did. Okay, these are stone giants, stone giant, stone giant. I even did, what's her name? Kalia, the Thane of stone giants. Kalia Nitika, whatever. There she is. Oh, here's a stone golem. Kind of a, kind of a simple one, you know. Um, here's an Etin I did. See? Guys, oh, let me show you the hill giants. 
see, here's my hill giants. These are all, and I did a juvie hill giant and a female hill giant. So the juvie hill giant I did is like an intro to the giants when they were low level, you know, starting off the Storm King's Thunder. A couple juvies here, see? So I really like to add variety to my um, miniatures. I don't want to just do one and then you have to just use the same one. I like to kind of have a variety of, of giants. Down here. Uh, here's another female giant. This one I made kind of a crazed, angry one. Charging along. I did not do do goo, or I called her Gru, but I just printed her out in the, you know, the artwork. I didn't print her out because we played on roll 20. Okay, so these are, uh, these are my trolls. A couple of different kinds of troll. Oh, I got this like fat troll. I'll probably do more trolls, obviously. A little mini fat troll. Did it fast, you know? Just different kinds of trolls. Did this one. Looks like he's coming at you from below. Lower, you know, kind of low guy. Did a, kind of a different different kind of version, older one. But so those are my trolls. It almost could be a witch, kind of a witch troll or something. This one. Uh, fire giants. I have fire giants. I'm gonna let that sink a little more. Fire giants. I got some fire giants here. Look at that guy. It's kind of dark. He's a look at that dude. And this is Duke Zalto right here. I got more fire giants than this, but I, I haven't printed them out because we haven't. I didn't need them for um, for this version. There's Duke Zalto. Fire giants and their armor. Okay, all right. Uh, last but not least, because I'm going to do more. I hope you join my Patreon and. Hope you join my Patreon. I'm gonna show you my dragons and my eagles and things. Where eagles dare. Oops. Control C, putting everything away. I mean, this is like a hundred figures or more. Right here in your little notebook, in your notebook or your backpack or whatever, when you your briefcase. You know, that's why I'm doing it this way. And no big deal if you lose them. If you go to the game store or wherever you're going, if you lose one, so what? You know, of course, ink is pretty expensive these days. Uh, so here's my green dragon. And I think, too, I'll, I'll probably uh, print out, you know, different sizes. You know, so you can do an adult, young adult, ancient. Um, although I do like drawing different versions, for instance... I have three versions of the Red Dragon, um, and I don't have the the ancient one I have, but it's pretty awesome. I think it needs two pages to print out. I'm, where is it? I don't know if I... It's in the game, though, so my Storm King's Thunder. But here's kind of a, 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 a young Wormling or a young Red Dragon, and then a young adult or maybe an adult Red Dragon, and then I have a bigger one for the um, uh, Red Dragon somewhere. Again, my green dragon, pretty cool. This is sort of an adult, or maybe even ancient green dragon, actually. It's pretty big, you know. This is my elegant silver dragon. Uh, and I just made a smaller one for the younger. And this one is goofy. It was my original silver dragon, but my daughter didn't like it, so I changed it. This one, if you make it smaller, though, if I make, I make it smaller, it could look like a kind of a fairy or goofy dragon, but whatever. Uh, oh, this is from Tomb of Annihilation. Printed that one out. That one should be free on my site. There's my... I have two eagles. You know, like a greater eagle, a great eagle, or a giant eagle. Oh, this is a giant eagle, really. And this is like a really awesome greater eagle. And this is like a super rock style greater eagle. You know. uh, I have a giant vulture. So, so people... Ugh, I'll just let it sink. Okay, that's it. That's my... I hope you enjoy this. I really hope that you guys can come to my Patreon and try it out. Um, and just give me suggestions too um, of minis you want, uh, battle maps or whatever. I love drawing this stuff out and I hope that, you know, I can build a little community of people that use, you know, 
for your own sake, something simple and easy. You know, maybe I haven't done effects. I could draw out some cartoony effects. Um, hopefully we'll get back together. And again, these will be accessible for Roll20 as well. I will have them so you can upload them to Roll20 and use them there um, on my Patreon on the Lordly tier. Um, okay. I hope this has been helpful to you. And um, if, again, if you're interested in my Patreon, please do it. And again, on YouTube, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing because I'm really happy with uh, the way the comments are going and all that. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching all the way through. You get an inspiration point.